God bless you. This is Dr. Kevin Jackson. I want to thank you for joining me for ministry moments and a time of intercession. It is a joy to have this opportunity to share with you in prayer. I want to invite you to participate, which means while I am praying, I'm asking you to pray as well. And if you so feel led, I want you to also drop some of those prayers in the comment section as well. That is our way of touching and agreeing, coming into agreement that the Lord will do absolutely what needs to be done regarding our prayer topics. Well, as you know, for the month of January, we've been focusing on wellness. And so our prayer focus for tonight is spiritual wellness, spiritual wellness. I want to anchor our prayers tonight in Colossians chapter two, verses six through seven. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me read this to you. And it says, so then, just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. That is ideally spiritual wellness. Hallelujah. So I want to invite you to just bring your mind and thoughts together and bring them in as we go before the Lord, praying and interceding for ourselves and certainly for those that we're connected with. I would like for you to like and share as well for those on your timeline, who you believe this will be a blessing to them. Hallelujah. And I believe that God is going to move on our behalf because he indeed is inclined to the prayers of the righteous. As the Bible says, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous avails much. Let's begin to pray. God, we thank you. We honor you. We love you. We glorify you. There is no God but you. We honor you and lift you up high in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we bring our prayer requests and petitions before you as it relates to spiritual wellness. God, we want to be better spiritually. We want to be all that you call us to be spiritually. And so God, on tonight, as we lift up these petitions before you, God, we want you to search our hearts, minds, souls, and spirit. And as you find those areas that are lacking, God, I am praying in the name of Jesus that you indeed will minister to those areas. <clears throat> Father, we start off by praying about our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we do not want to have a stale or stagnated relationship with Jesus. But God, give us an intimate relationship, one in which is fueled by strong passion and desire, that we want to be in his presence. We want to communicate with him on a daily basis, that it's not out of routine and not out of obligation, but it's out of the abundance of love, desire, and intimacy that we seek him. God, I'm praying right now in the name of Jesus that we'll begin to experience that awe that we have of Jesus Christ, that awe of who he is and the fact that he wants to be in relationship with us, to communicate with us and to commune with us in the name of the Lord. We understand his promise that he'll never leave us or forsake us. And so God, we reverse that, that we don't want to leave him and we do not want to forsake him. We do not want to let him down in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, I thank you for it right now. God, I pray that even in our relationship with Christ, that we will be even the more honest with 
him, that we will bring to him those areas of inadequacies in our life so that we don't have to just allow him to assume it and to be aware of it. But as a parent desires of their child, that their child will come and bring the circumstances to them. So God, we bring ourselves, we bring our emptiness, we bring our areas in our lives, God, that are deficient and the areas in our lives that need you the more in the name of Jesus. So God, we thank you right now that you are allowing us to pray, to come into your presence. And so, Lord, we're praying that our relationship with Jesus Christ, uh, that it will go stronger and that the love that we have for him will be more intense as we seek to be spiritually well. In the name of the Lord, Father, we know that worship hallelujah, is a realm in which we enter into to express who Christ is to us, who he is, who he is and the essence of being a Lord and Savior. And so, God, I pray right now in the name of the Lord that as we seek to be spiritually well, God, that when we enter into worship with the Lord Jesus Christ, that we will not come with a mindset that is so predictable and routine set, but that we will enter worship with a freshness, with a newness, with a mode of discovery to, to discover more about him. And even in doing so, we find out more about who we are in him. And so, Father, I pray that every time we lift our hands to worship, every time we open our mouths to sing a song of worship, and whatever we do, that we do it as unto the Lord as worship, I'm praying, God, that it will be fresh. Hallelujah. That it will be new, that it will be something that's out of the routine, outside of the routine in the name of the Lord. Let our desire intensify. Oh God, let that fire shut up in our bowls that Jeremiah spoke of, God. Let that fire be more intensified in the name of the Lord as we desire Christ to know him, hallelujah, as Paul would say, to know him in his suffering, to know him in all who he is and all that he has done for us as we worship him, as we adore him, as we magnify him, as we lift him up, as we give him glory in the name of the Lord. And Father, we pray as we seek spiritual wellness uh, that if we have placed anything, any body, any thought, any idea in the name of the Lord, any concept uh, before the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, God, help us to dethrone those idols. Help us to remove everything and everybody that wants to see, sit in the place of worship that only Christ sits in, in our hearts, in the name of the Lord God. And so we declare and decree in the name of Jesus uh, that we will not worship idols. We will not worship, hallelujah, possessions. We will not Oh, God, worship personalities. We will not worship movements and ideas, but our worship, hallelujah, it will belong to you. God, I pray that we will, we will have a mindset that daily we will worship you, the son of the living God, the one who died for us, that it will not just be a worship encounter, hallelujah, on Sundays and a hit and miss, but every day that we will engage with the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, in a mode of worship uh, that comes from the sentiments of our hearts, uh, that comes from the depths of our soul, uh, in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. And we thank you for it right now, God. Help us not just to be a fan of the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us not to just be fascinated with the name of Jesus, but that we may be, hallelujah, connected with him in such a real and intimate way in the name of the Lord. And I thank you for it right now, God. I give you praise for it in the name of Jesus. And so, God, I pray that our worship will not be hindered. I pray that we will not be distracted by other things. I pray, God, that when we enter into a time of worship, God, that it will be, hallelujah, dedicated to you, sanctified to you in the name of the Lord, unhindered, un not even disrupted or interrupted uh, in the name of the Lord. And we thank you for it now. Uh, God, we pray right now that we will grow in our discipleship in view, God, that we will grasp the word of God, that we may be spiritually well, that we will eat of your word, oh God, that we may be built up in your word, strengthened in your word. Help us, Lord, to be spiritually well. Help us to gain an understanding, oh God, of that which we are reading, the word says, and all of it are getting, get understanding. Help us, oh God, to come commit to Bible study. Help us to commit to reading the word of God and studying it and searching the scripture in the name of the Lord God. Help us, oh God, not only to just know the word, but as your word says, help us to be doers of the word. God, we want to be spiritually well. Help us to apply God the principles of your word in our everyday life so that we can love people, oh God, who may hate us. Oh God, and we can do good to those, hallelujah, who do evil to us. God, that we will sacrifice for others as you have sacrificed for us in the name of Jesus. Help us, oh God, to apply your word in every aspect of our lives in the name of Jesus. Help us, oh God, to to be spiritually well. And when we have learned your word, God, help us to share your word. Help us to share it in our home. Help us to share it with our family and friends. Help us to share with the people that you cause us to have an interaction with, an encounter with. In the name of the Lord, help us, oh God, not just to take in your word for ourselves, but help us to give it out. Help us to share it in the name of the Lord so that we can be spiritually well in the name of the Lord God. Help us to demonstrate who Jesus is in the earth. Help us to be that living letter, hallelujah, that the apostle Paul spoke of. Help us to be an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ, that if people never see set foot in a church, but they will see Jesus in us. Help us, oh God, to be spiritually well, that we are not satisfied with a form of godliness and denying the power thereof, but help us, oh God, to seek perfection in you, to grow up in you, in the name of Jesus Christ, to be rooted in you. Oh God, and we thank you for it right now. Help us, oh God, to put on the full armor of the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to put on the full armor, the helmet of salvation. Oh God, the breastplate of righteousness. Help us to gird ourselves with the belt of truth. In the name of Jesus, help us to hold up Glory to God, the shield of faith. Help us to walk in your word, walk in the gospel. Help us to have the sword of the spirit in the name of the Lord. Thank you for the Holy Ghost guiding, leading us. Oh God, we want to be spiritually well. And so God, we thank you for it right now. 
We thank you, Lord, that you're working on us right now. Even as we are praying, you're moving in us. You're moving on us. And we know that you're going to move through us because we want to be well. We want to be spiritually well in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I pray right now for our giftings and callings. Oh God, you call your people. And God, for these men and women of God, who you call to specific areas in the kingdom of God, I'm praying, God, that they will be spiritually well that they will be prepared to, to function in the callings in which you have placed upon their lives. We bind fear. We bind shrinking back. We bind, hallelujah, listening to other people who want to demean their gifts and callings. And we call them forth in the name of Jesus. We pray that they will flourish. We pray that their gifts will be nourished, that they will be developed in the name of Jesus. Oh God, help us to be spiritually well. Help us to use our gifting and calling only for the benefit of the kingdom of God and those that will come into the kingdom. Oh God, help us not, hallelujah, to use our gifts just for our own benefit, but let it be done unto Christ. For only what we do for you will last. And we thank you, God. Help us to sharpen our skills. If you call us to preach, help us to sharpen our ability to preach, our ability to prepare messages and sermons. If you've called us to sing, help us to, hallelujah, to sharpen up our ability to sing, our ability to play musical instruments. Oh God, we thank you for it right now. We bless you for it. We take this moment to praise you. We take this moment to glorify you in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and we pray right now for the Spirit of God. Oh, the Spirit of God God will make us well because it leads us, it guides us, it reminds us, it convicts us of our sin. And so, God, we pray in Jesus' name that we will engage with the Spirit of you, O oh God, on a continual basis basis, uh, that we will be filled in the name of Jesus, uh, with the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, in the name of the Lord, that we will walk in the spirit. Uh, oh, God, help us to be spiritually well, uh, that we will demonstrate the fruit of the spirit uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, that we will have godly discernment. Uh, oh, we thank you for it right now, uh, and that we will know when the spirit is moving, uh, and that we will have the wisdom to move and flow, glory to God, with your spirit spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh God, make us spiritually well. Make us spiritually well in the name of the Lord. And so, Father, we're praying that you'll make us spiritually well, even in practical ways. Oh, God, help us not to talk about people. Oh, God, but help us to lift people up in the name of Jesus. What is in our hearts defile us. Oh, our mouth reveals the content of our hearts. Oh, God, and so when it has things in it, comes out that doesn't represent a clean heart. Oh God, we're praying right now that you'll give us a clean heart as David prayed and renew the right spirit in us. Oh glory to God so that we can be spiritually well. Oh God, and we thank you for it right now. Give us a godly attitude, a kingdom minded attitude. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. So we don't walk around mean and mad. So so that we don't have a nasty attitude, but oh God, that will reflect what's on the inside of us. Glory to God, your word and your spirit. Help us, oh God, to be spiritually well. Help us not to walk in offense. And God, we do admit that there are times that people do things and say things and make us upset, cause us to be, hallelujah, offended. But, oh, God, we want to be spiritually well. Help us not to walk around with 
anger. Help us not to walk around with bitterness and unforgiveness hallelujah, and in offense, but help it to wash off of us. Oh, glory to God, so that it does not infect us in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it right now, oh God. Help us not to be selfish. Hallelujah. But help us have concern for others. Make us spiritually well, God. Help us not to be so anointed that nobody can talk to us in a normal way. Oh God, hallelujah. Help us not to be so in love with our titles, hallelujah, that we feel we are better than other people. Make us spiritually well in the name of Jesus. For we can have all the gifts and talents in the world, but if we have not love, hallelujah, we are nothing. Help us to have love, God, for the unlovable. Help us to have love, God, for those that really just don't want to be bothered with us. Oh, God, help us to be spiritually well. Let us have a servant's heart, oh, God, to serve. To serve the least of those. Hallelujah. To serve those who other people feel are not worth anything. But God, you give us our worth and help us to be servant leaders. Oh, God, and we're not always seeking for people to serve us and obey what we say, but help us, oh God, to have a spirit, hallelujah, of humility that we can lead strong and still be humble. In the name of the Lord, help us to be spiritually well. Help us, oh God, that people don't run from us because they're afraid of us. And we don't have to beat people in submission. Oh God, make us spiritually well as leaders that will learn how to lead as Christ led, that will learn how to manage people, glory to God, and not run people off. Oh God, help us to be nice. Hallelujah. Help us to be kind. Oh, God, help us to be spiritually well, even in our marriages. Help us to be kind to our spouse. Oh, glory to God. And not just kind to people at church, but kind to the people in our homes. Hallelujah. Help us to be spiritually well. Oh God. Help us to be the same person in church, in home, and at work in the name. Help us to be consistent. Oh, God, help us to be spiritually well. And we thank you for it right now. Help us to keep our flesh under control, uh, subjected to your word. Help us to pull down every stronghold, everything that acknowledges and exalts itself above the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us not to fight people, but to deal with things in spiritual warfare. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's the evil wickedness. It's spirits from the enemy of our soul. Glory to God. And we thank you for it right now, oh God, that you're making us spiritually well. Hallelujah. We're not ill spiritually, but we'll be spiritually well. Heal us and we'll be healed. Deliver us. Hallelujah. And we will be delivered so that we can represent you well in the earth. So we don't bring shame upon you and the kingdom. Oh, God, make us spiritually well. And we honor you for this time and opportunity, Lord Jesus. And we just thank you. Hallelujah. Our hands are lifted up in a surrender to you. Hallelujah. That you're doing a work in us even now. Hallelujah. And we, we are grateful for it. We thank you for this opportunity to pray. We thank you that the Holy Ghost is going into deep moans and groans that no man can utter. So God, everything that we forgot to pray, everything we didn't know to pray, hallelujah. We thank you that the Holy Ghost is interceding on our behalf. We thank you, Lord. And we expect, we have great expectations and faith that we will be spiritually well. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I hope that you were blessed by the prayers. And I look forward to reading the statements that you placed in the comment section. 
I believe the Lord is just going to do great things. He's going to make us spiritually well. Hallelujah. I read to you again. Glory to God. Colossians chapter 2, 6 through 7. I think it's bears being read again. So then, just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, glory to God, and overflowing with thankfulness. Hallelujah. Can you just tell the Lord, thank you for making me spiritually well. Well, know that I appreciate you and certainly love you with the love of the Lord. Thank God for those of you that are military and veterans and I've served as your chaplain and am serving as your chaplain. What an honor and privilege it is. Hallelujah. For you to join me so many times for a time of intercession or a time in the word. Thank God for my spiritual children. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank God for family and friends and thank God for my Facebook friends and those who I worship together with as well. God bless you. This is a day that the Lord has made. We're gonna rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because God is at work in us. He wants us to be spiritually well. Don't forget to share and like and place your comments in. Join me if you have the opportunity on Thursday as we have a time in the word. We are going to be walking in the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. As we look for the answers, it's the title of our time on Thursday. We're looking at Acts chapter 12. Look for the answers. Hallelujah. Look for the answers to our prayers. I believe the Lord's going to bless us tremendously. You don't want to miss it. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a great evening. This is Dr. Kevin Jackson, Ministry Moments and a time of intercession. Blessings.